Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. As we all know, 7.0 is upon us, alongside a whole new gearing system that is a significant departure from what we're all used to. So here's my brief guide into how the new gearing system works and some general tips on how you can be best working towards a full set of 326 gear. At a high level, gearing will feel somewhat familiar to what you've experienced in the past. Upon completing content, the game will drop you a box of gear and then you'll be on your way. But the primary difference in 7.0 is that different types of gear will drop from different types of content, and the upgrades will be few and far between. The only way in the game to consistently get different types of upgrades is by completing weeklies, not by defeating bosses or just completing content. So you're going to have to pay close attention to what type of gear you're receiving as you play the game and what weeklies you choose to pursue as you choose what content to complete. Here's a high level look at what gear drops from the different forms of content and next to each form of gear, I'll put a little note on what the maximum eye level is. For players who play alone, you'll be gearing through the Noble Decurion gear from Daily Areas and Heroics. For Flashpoint players, you'll be receiving Elite Decurion from Veteran Mode and Supreme Decurion from Master Mode Flashpoints. For Raiders, you have three different forms of gear, Tyanese for Story Modes, Kalumni for Hard Modes, and Ricotta for Master Modes. Finally, PvPers will be receiving Thrizian gear. But why are these gear types important? Well, it's because the only guaranteed way to get better gear is to go to the fleet and manually upgrade these pieces instead of relying on random drops. With each piece of gear you receive, you can take that piece to the fleet and pay a special currency to upgrade the piece by two item levels. This mitigates the RNG process and allows players to make progress towards their gearing goals even when bosses aren't dropping the gear that you really want. However, there is a small problem. Each gear type takes a different form of currency. So if you want to make any sort of progress towards reaching that 326 eye level, you're going to have to dedicate your time into really grinding out these currencies. So once again, we're going to take a high level look at what type of currency you will need to upgrade your chosen form of gear. For story mode players, you will need metals, aquatics, and accelerants. For Flashpoint players, you will need Metals, Aquatics, and Isotopes. For Raiders, you will need Metals, Aquatics, and Catalysts. And finally, PvPers will need Metals, Aquatics, and Accelerants. Also, please note that players will need Tech Frags for the Legendary Items and Tacticals. But how do you acquire these forms of currency? Well, here's everything you need to know. Metals mostly drop by completing your Conquests, Group Finders, PvP, and Galactic Starfighter. Aquatics can be won through completing dailies, heroics, PvPs, uprisings, and world bosses. Isotopes only drop from flashpoints. Catalysts only drop from operations. And accelerants will only drop from PvP and Galactic Starfighter. So what's the play here? Well, to start, I would emphasize that you need to be patient. This is an MMO. There's going to be some grind to it. And probably a lot more than what we're used to from 6.0. So it's going to be better to sit back and enjoy the ride than focus on how long it takes to get you to your destination. I know it's frustrating, but please be patient. As a rule of thumb, I would recommend finding one set of gear from this list and focusing on only spending your currencies towards upgrading that set of gear. I would recommend finding a set that has the highest maximum eye level that comes from content that you enjoy spending time in. So if you're a Flashpoint player, you should prioritize upgrading your Supreme Decurion pieces over your Thrizian pieces. Of course, if a piece has a higher eye level than what you're currently wearing, you would be well served to equip that piece to get a chance at a higher level drop from your weekly crates. However, by focusing on only upgrading one form of gear at a time, you will be able to use your currencies more effectively in the long run. At the end of the day, if you play the content you want to play, you'll slowly get better gear over time. But if you really want to optimize your gearing process, you should focus in on one type of gear from one form of content and grind out those weeklies until you hit your desired item rating. For those of you looking for your tertiary stacked, I can't give you exact numbers for every class, but the general rule of thumb is as follows. For DPS and PVE, you want to get your accuracy to 110% and get your alacrity to 7.15% then dump the rest in the critical. For DPS and PvP, you should get your accuracy to 105% and then get your alacrity to 7.15% and then dump the rest in the critical. 
Note that alacrity will be different for lightning, telekinetics, arsenal, gunnery, combat, and carnage. I will link all those in the description below. For healers, you should get your alacrity to 7.15% and then dump the rest into critical. And for tanks, you should get your shield chance up to 50%, then dump the rest into absorb. This entire video has been boiled down into a concise spreadsheet that I've included in the description below to help you keep track of your preferred type of gear, the currency that you'll need, and where you can get it from. So if you need a point of reference for all this information, I recommend bookmarking that spreadsheet. But that's all I've got. I hope your gear grind is going well. I know that different forms of power gearing are going to come and go as Bioware tweaks things. So if you have any up-to-date recommendations on how people can easily acquire gear, feel free to post them in the comments below to help out your fellow players. All right, that's all I got. Take care now. Peace.